Coach, this was a, a tight game, well-pitched game. Both starters threw really well. Overall, what, what are your takeaways from, from this one? Baseball's a, a game, game of momentum, right? And so sometimes we, didn't, we found their gloves, we hit the ball hard, uh, just didn't get the, the, the runs across. Nothing to hang our head about. It's a hard, well-played game by both teams. Their number one guy threw really well. Our number one guy threw really well. Someone had to win. The go-ahead run scored on a really bizarre play that you don't see often on a wild pitch, and the ball gets caught in the, the backstop area. What was your interpretation of what happened there? My interpretation is they called a dead ball. That's a dead ball in play, right? So they were saying it was a dead ball out of play. I'm like, it's a dead ball in play. They told my catcher if he had not made a play, they would have, they, they would have left the runner where he was. Problem is, the umpires, one of the umpires has to see that and call that play dead where it stands, and they did not. Uh, end of the day, you're still 5-1. and one. Yep. Uh, How pleased are you overall with the, the start to the season? It's early, and uh, you know I said at the beginning of the season, if we can swing the bats, we're going to compete. I'm happy with the way that we're swinging the bats. You heard a couple balls; they were line drives, they were they were in gaps, and they, they made some really nice defensive plays today. You got to tip your cap to them. It's, that's just how baseball is. What did you see from Cannon specifically that that allowed him to pitch so well? Uh, he was around. He was around the zone, right? He was around the zone. He was throwing throwing well, locating. And then he was uh, keeping them a little off balance, right? So, so they weren't getting a real good look at him. That's an, that's the name of pitching, keep them off balance. So they were they were guessing a little bit, which is. It seems like that family has produced about 27 players for Twin Valley over the year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. How nice is it to, to coach kids, you know, from the same family? I'm trying to talk them into having a couple more. Um, <laughs> yeah, they they uh, it, it's 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 very nice. They're great kids. It's a great family. I can always count on them. They're the first ones. They're for, for, we want to have an optional practice. They're always there. So, um, you know, Coop's, Coop's young. I think he had probably some big game jitters today, maybe a little bit. That's the first we saw any chinks in that armor. So he'll come back. He'll learn from this, and, and we'll be better. Um, really pleased with Cannon. He's got, he's got a bright future. Uh, Muhlenberg obviously is a very good yep. team. When, when you look at Division II uh, overall, what, what are your thoughts? comes down to us and them, I believe, right? I mean, so, so, and we got to settle that on the field. And the, everybody can talk about their, their lists and this, that, the other. The game's played on the field. And we're going to go see them Wednesday night and we're going to come to play. You know, playing a, a bigger school, a Division One team like Exeter, how much does that help you improve? I think tight games, we're a young, we're a young team. We're a really young team. We only have, you know, there was one senior starter on that field today, right? Everybody else, junior, sophomore, had two freshmen in a starting lineup. Our future's bright, right? Yeah. Games like this, they make us better, yeah. right? So these guys will learn from that. They'll come out. That elevated heart rate won't exist next time. Yeah. So we're good. I'm, I'm, our future, we're on the we're, all, we're trending upwards. Yeah. I like it. I know you were an assistant on, on the staff here last season. How much different is it now being the head coach? Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really different. You know, I have different different problems to worry about. You know, it's. Uh, you know, last year as an assistant, it was my focus was was all about teaching the boys baseball, right? Um, now I take over the program, and it's all about changing the culture, getting them to compete. And, and I think what everyone's going to find is we're going to be different, right? We're we're going to compete differently. We won't lay down. Um, we're just getting, as long as we have outs to give, we're going to come at you. I know you coach the Legion team as well, so you've seen a lot of baseball in Berks County. What are your impressions overall of the, the level of play in this area? Oh, it's it's solid. It's it's. I think there's depth, right? That's that's the biggest thing. You, we, once we start league play, there's no days off, right? You don't you don't. Expect, you know, Division One, Division Two crossovers. There's no there's no days off. You you're gonna face competition. There's good depth. You got to come out every day and you got to compete. That's really hard to do with baseball. Baseball is a, a sport of failure. So con to consistently put together team wins, hard to do. Well, appreciate your time and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you.